Yesterday, we saw how C Company 2 RGR will be working in the densely populated Afghan capital, Kabul. Today, a different location on the Karwent training area. The home of B Company will be based outside Kabul. Their job to protect the mentors and trainers working at the Afghanistan Officers Academy. And the majority of the training serials involving B Company have revolved around that protection and support mission. Like this one today, featuring a visit from an Afghan general. It's a job that requires real soft hands, a lot of diplomatic skills from you know, the riflemen, the corporals, the sergeants, from everybody really. Um, there's Afghan officer cadets that the guys will be interacting with daily. Um, there's Afghan officers, then there's the mentors. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a big span for, a, for the junior commanders, but something, something I'm pretty confident they've got their heads around. The Gurkhas spread out, providing unobtrusive protection, allowing the Afghan officials breathing space to visit the recruits being trained. Previous deployments by Gurkha regiments to Afghanistan have shown a perhaps unlikely connection between the Nepalese personnel and the Afghans, Bollywood. The similar thing between Afra, Afghan people and uh, among the people in Nepal is like we was we used to watch Bollywood movies, and like it was a lot easier for us to do communication because we, we do watch the same kind of movies. So I don't think there's gonna be a big gap of you know like some cultural gap because uh, we do watch the same movies and uh, we do have a kind of same culture. So, so it will be easier for us to cope with them. A kilo ones are out for that's all. Stay switched on, and we'll get the principals out of here in good order. Out. The Afghan general's visit appears to be passing off well. But this being a training exercise, something was bound to happen. Take your men, get them round the corner to the doctor. He looks like some sort of mortar attack, and there are multiple injuries. The mission now, treat the wounded, get the dignitaries to a safe place. This phase of the training has been designed to test B Company's medical response to a multi-casualty situation. Everybody who's deploying for the medical side has got a set of competencies that they have to reach, so there's courses that they've got to do beforehand, and levels of competency they've got to achieve before even starting their pre-deployment training. So we've done all the classroom work, we've been preparing for that for quite a few months now, and this is a time when we all get together as a team and get to put it into practice in real time with the pressure of the helicopters coming in 12 minutes, you've got to get everybody in the right place at the right time. With the you know, nuances of the vehicles taking a bit longer or quicker than expected, and it's been, it's been really good, really good training. This is going to slide out, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is the very final phase of today's training serial. The casualties have been brought from where the incident took place to the Royal Roll 2 medical facility here. And that really does conclude what has been a, a challenging and difficult day for two RGR, but one that they've managed to work through and achieve the aim of this exercise. Tim Cooper, Forces News, the Carwent training area in South Wales. It's 3.30 in the morning on a special day in the Gurkha company calendar. And he is our instructor. He teaches us in everything. And uh, since we are... The...